this project is a time capsule. Literally almost everyone on the entire planet right now is going through something. One of the things that's going to come out of this is this project. And it'll always be this thing that we created during this really difficult time. Me and my colleagues Rob Dillon, Sean Connors, and Peter Martin have been collaborating with Movement Art Is on a new project, which is going to combine and celebrate U.S. street dancing styles and classical percussion ensemble music with original music by Jay Lynn and Tyonde Braxton, as well as music by Philip Glass. They have their own individual stories. We've known for quite a while we were going to be working on this particular project together, and it was something that we were going to be bringing to Carnegie Hall. I think what really stands out about this project, for us at least, is the style of movement that Boogs, Buck, Ron, and Marcus work in. This project ends up exploring some things that I think are especially relevant right now. Questions of what does the world look like to you? How is that shaped by where you come from and the experiences that you've had leading up to this point? You're seeing different, you know, spurts of their lives. You're actually seeing these guys grow in their emotions together and as individuals. For Miles, the things he loved most about life is joy, and the things he's experienced in life is you know, pain and fear. So th these are emotions that we all experience, especially as black men, as you're seeing through Miles' life and his movement. As far as Marcus, you see through his experience that John Boyd's really, you know, he's helped cultivate. I came up with this piece for Marcus, and it's kind of like Frankenstein themed. You know how Frankenstein was made up of many body parts and he was created, but it's about roughly Marcus coming to life, discovering his body for the first time, learning how to use his legs, learning how to use his arms, and then he sees Ron, who's a real human, and he gets inspired by the human and wants to move exactly like him, but he can't because he's made up of so many different body parts. His body just won't allow him to move as naturally as a real human would be. times really bring out the creativity in you. They really test you as far as like, what can you get done? How much can you learn through the computer? Like I said, it's a big challenge, but we're up for it and it's been, it's been great. We've created a really amazing artistic experience for, for an audience to see. The fact that Buck, Boogs, Ron, Marcus, Jalen, Ayande, our stage director Leslie, our lighting designer Joe, were willing to persevere and make this thing happen, even though it's happening in a really unorthodox way, I think really speaks to the incredible value that the project has and the incredible artistic impact that I know it's gonna make.